Hating on System D. It's kind of the cool thing to do, right? You see it all over the internet. Any topics relating to Linux and free and open source software, the minute somebody brings up System D, you will get pages and pages of troll comments and hate comments about System D. So, what's all the hate about? Is it justified? That's our topic for the day. So, the reason for today's video is I was watching a video that Luke Smith had just put out. He, he published this video yesterday called I'm Way Too Smart for System D, basically where he says System D is okay and that all of the System D hate out there is really unjustified, right? It's basically just become a meme. It, it's just become cool to hate on System D. We discussed this a little bit when I joined Luke on one of his streams about a week ago. I, we did a little collab together, uh, me and, and Luke Smith, and one of the things that he brought up at some point was System D, and both of us agreed that the hate for System D is not justified. Both of us use Arch-based systems and use System D, and System D, it just works. And I got some some criticism about that. Luke has gotten a lot of criticism about that, especially now that he posted this official, uh, I guess, response here. I'm way too smart for System D. You can see not a lot of people liked this video. <laughs> it's got 620 thumbs up and 224 thumbs down at this moment. So a lot of people took offense to this video. When you get that many people, that that high percentage of people giving a thumbs down to a YouTube video, that means some people really took his video personally. So what are my thoughts on the subject? And what are my thoughts on System D? The first thing we should do is discuss what exactly is System D, because many people would just say System D is an init system. System D really is much more than an init system. System D really it describes itself as a suite of tools, a suite of basic building block tools for your Linux system. Many people just refer to System D as an init system. An init system is basically the system that starts and stops services when you're booting up your machine or shutting down your machine. But again, System D really is much more than just an init system. System D, for example, provides a UEFI bootloader, a login manager a syslog daemon, a mount front end, uh, timer units that can be used to replace cron, it even has its own network manager, and many many other tools. And this is where much of the criticism arises. System D does too much in many people's opinion. Many people consider it bloated. It suffers from, quote, feature creep, right? You often hear Linux enthusiasts talk about, quote, the Unix philosophy, whatever that might mean. And I say that because the Unix philosophy tends to have different definitions depending on who you ask, who, who's throwing around that term. But many people define it as doing one thing and doing it well. Clearly that is not the philosophy of System B and System D devs, right? Is feature creep a legit criticism? Sure, doing too much can lead to problems if not designed well, and some people do criticize the design and structure of System D. Feature creep also can lead to vulnerabilities, that's true, the more stuff your init suite is doing, the bigger the attack surface. And many people have jumped on the anti-SystemD bandwagon early on, mainly because the main dev behind SystemD is a guy named Lenart Pottering. He was not great at dealing with criticism and suggestions from the community. He was not the best person as far as dealing with people. No shock there, it seems a common problem among developers. but. Hating a piece of software because you personally don't like the guy that created it, is that okay? What is the thought process behind that exactly? I hate you, Lenart Pottering, and I'm going to get back at you by not using your init system. Wow, you really showed him, didn't you? So, And Pottering, yeah, being the jackass that so many people claim him to be, is that a, really a reason to dismiss the technology that is system D? Some of the haters talk about System D becoming bloated and becoming, quote, a single point of failure. Well, 
Okay, take that criticism and times it by about a thousand and you've got the Linux kernel, right? The Linux kernel, now that's major bloat, right? And single point of failure, yeah, the Linux kernel definitely meets that definition as well, but none of you guys, none of you System D haters seem to have a problem with the Linux kernel. None of you Lenart Pottering haters seem to have a problem with Linus Torvald's behavior over the years either. Do we have a double standard here? One of the other complaints I sometimes hear is that System D is being forced on you. That somehow System D has been forced upon us. If you really think System D has been forced on you, then I need to ask you a question. Do you not know how to download an ISO? Because you can change distros. If you don't like the one you're on, you can switch to a different distro. Or move to BSD. Or go back to Windows if System D is so evil. You, you, change operating systems, right? Anyone claiming that anything in Linux is being forced on them, I just ignore you because you're obviously trolling or you're just too lazy to format the drive and install something else, you know, some other distro without System D. But are all these complaints, are these legit criticisms? I don't think so. So my question to you guys that are System D haters, how has using System D caused you some sort of grief or heartache? Why does System D with its fast boot up times and its easy to learn commands, why does it trigger you? And I don't need to hear that System D is different than my previous init system. I get that. I get that new things, they take time to learn, right? It's strange, it's different, it's foreign. That's not a legit reason to hate something. Just because System D does something in a different way than your previous init system, that's not really a reason to hate on it. For example, on older init systems, if you wanted to start a program at boot, you could write, you know, some simple shell script and put it in the slash etsy slash init dot D tree and if it was really simple you know you could just put it in slash etsy slash rc dot local system d uses a different type of script for its services and some people find it more difficult to write those scripts but again this complaint is is really more about familiarity rather than being like a a real problem with system d the technology no i want legit answers of how using system d caused you some sort of pain in your computing life I don't want the regurgitated answers that you picked up on Reddit and 4chan. I want personal experiences because all I'm seeing is mob mentality. Just a bunch of blattering sheep blindly following along, feeding off an issue that really is just an emotional ish issue, right? It's a form of groupthink, really. Yet all you System D haters out there, you guys don't see it as groupthink. You, you think you're just a bunch of nonconformists. But this mob mentality really can be likened to a riot. You know, a riot breaks out and soon everyone is taking part in it because, well, everybody's doing it, right? It's the mob mentality. Everybody else is looting and pillaging. I'm going to do it. You don't even know why you're rioting. You don't even know how it started in most cases. The participants, they all feel like their actions are completely justified, even if they have no real way to articulate the specific act that motivated the riot to begin with. So I'm asking you system D haters, you rioters. Can you articulate your reasons for hating System D? And before I go, I do need to thank a few special people. This show was made possible by Ansem, Chris, the other Chris, Douglas, Dylan, Leor, Philip, Rob, Robert, and Tony. They're the producers of the show. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without them, this show would not have been possible. Also brought to you by all those fine ladies and gentlemen, all those names you see on the screen that help support my work over on Patreon. Again, without each and every one of those folks, this show would not be possible. If you'd like to support my work, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.